are running a bit late, but I will try to complete this session as fast as possible. So the biggest problem that we face on expiry day is to know what we should do, whether we will uh, shell call, whether we will sell put, or whether we buy call or whether we buy put. Whether it's a trending market or it's a non-trending market in which the things will settle down and all the premiums will go to zero. We'll discuss about those using the straddle charts and how we will work. So this is the thing which we are starting. This is something about me. I am a chartered accountant and company secretary as well as the SEBI registered analyst. The agenda for the day is to discuss about the bank nifty and its uh, constituents, then the types of derivatives, switch and option, straddle, open interest, VWAP. All these things are very basic, so let us uh, go a bit fast. So basically, Bank Nifty consists of uh, these major banks, HDFC, ICICI, Kotak, Axis, SBI. Out of this, uh, all these banks, basically I follow HDFC, ICICI, Kotak, Axis, and SBI. Because if we uh, see what these banks are doing on the expiry day, yeah, it's okay. On the expiry day, then we'll be able to predict what the Bank Nifty is doing. Generally, I believe that we should not uh, trade in Bank Nifty against HDFC Bank. It means that if the HDFC Bank is going up, we should not try to short the bank nifty. It is uh, basically if the HDFC bank is moving, ultimately bank nifty will follow suit. And if the HDFC bank is for falling, then we'll try to avoid the bank nifty uh, uh, bullish trades. See what is the types of derivatives. This we all know, future contracts, and then options. Options means basically call and put. What do you mean by call and put? Basically call is like we are taking a buy call trade when we are betting on the bullish thing, and we are taking a put buy trade when we are betting on the bearish tree. Now the options, they are basically in the money, at the money and out of money options. Then straddle. See generally there are two types of straddle, long straddle and short straddle. What is straddle? Straddle is basically like uh, selling or buying both the same strike, call and put. See all these things are basic so I am going a bit fast. See in the bullish straddle, what, I, what do you mean by bullish straddle? Generally I classify straddle into two things, basically bullish straddle and bearish straddle. From here I will go a bit slow. What do you mean by bullish straddle? In option chain, there are uh, different type of straddles. So if any anything which is in the money means like if someone is uh, in the money call and OTM put, then I will call it a bullish straddle. And if there is in the money put and the OTM call, then I will call it a bearish straddle. After that, we'll discuss this open interest we know. Then the where volume weighted where this VWAP, VWAP we all know that as a buyer or as a seller, on an intraday basis, you should not trade against the VWAP. If uh, the bank nifty is above VWAP, you should not sell the calls or buy the puts. And if the bank nifty is below VWAP, you should not uh, buy, sell this, uh, buy the call or sell the put. And uh, what type of sellers? Basically, I identify sellers uh, as a three types. Means ITM option sellers, ATM option sellers, and OTM option sellers. What ITM option sellers do? They take the highest amount of the risk and hence they get the highest amount of the return. The ATM option sellers are like a normal people who are the majority of the people who are running the big books and they are basically creating the range in the market by doing the ATM option selling. And then the third type is like the OTM option sellers. Basically these, these are the people who have the big money and they are using their money power to generate the return. Like in the below example you can see if you are investing this uh, 1,30,000 the realization in the ITM call will be around 10% and for the same 1,20,000 the realization in the OTM will be around 4.5%. This the basically this 6% difference is because of the risk that these ITM persons are taking. Now what is our trading plan that we are going to discuss? This is Nifty Bank Nifty. We will look the ATM straddle. Why ATM straddle? This I will show here. See this is today morning ATM straddle. In the morning, Bank Nifty was trading something around here, 39,700. So I'm just showing the live thing, why we are concentrating on the ATM straddle. You can see here that around 10 a.m., we have the highest OI in the ATM straddle. This is the total OI of the straddle. You can see here, this is the highest OI. What these people are telling you that at uh, around 10 a.m., they are uh, ready to uh, take this 233 for the ATM straddle. It means they are saying that the market will expire within a range of 39,700 plus 233 means 39,933 and 39,700 minus 233 means something like 39,475. So here what we are doing, we are observing ATM straddle after 10 a.m. We will not do anything in between 9.15 to 10. 
so that the market is settled and we'll start observing this ATM shuttle only after 10 a.m. Because by then the big player have decided what will be the uh, what will be the range of Bank Nifty. So what we are doing, we are doing, we are observing it on a 10 minutes time frame. And if the straddle crosses the last 10 minutes high, then we will buy the dominating option. So let us see what is happening here. I am just showing the today example. See here, it is at 233. Then you are seeing at 1010, it is at 233. Then at 1020, it is at 228. And then suddenly it went to 304. Here you can see that within a 10 minute time frame, this straddle rose from 228 to 304. Now let us come and see this 39700 call. See this yellow line, this yellow line is basically the VWAP line. Here you can see this is the 10 a.m. candle, 1020 a.m. candle, we'll buy only above VWAP. If you have bought it, maybe around 200, you see the high of this candle is around one, uh, let me decrease the time frame. See here, you can see this is around 1022, the VWAP was uh, 122, and here we are getting it around 141. From 141, it went almost to 260. So how to trade or how to chase the trade? What I do, I take uh, this type of buying trade in a multiple of three. I book the first trade in 1.1.5 hour. What is this hour? This hour is basically my VWAP is, all, is the stop loss for any buy trade that I am taking. The second lot, I book at 1.3 hour and in the third lot, I will chase the trade until and unless I am getting the reversal. See here I am getting reversal and I am now getting out. Now you see what is happening throughout the day in the market. See this is our straddle chart. See after making a big spurt around 10.20, then you can see that it is a downward trending chart. So it means against the share, again the option seller are taking care of the market and here we should be out. Either we are selling option, but we should not be buying the option. It means that again the market is getting into a congestion zone. So we will avoid the market. Yeah, you can see here uh, this gave a breakout around 190 and from 190 it made a high of 306 the same day. This is the uh, put chart of 40,700. It gave a breakout around 174 and from 174 it moved to 309. In between there was a lot of moves where we should have big profit and this is the same chart along with the uh, this yeah, the straddle chart and along with the OI. This is the 40,700 put chart. You can see it gave a breakout from here and almost went till here. Example two of 9th March, 41,500 straddle. It rose from 150 to 240. Uh, from uh, 120 to 240 within 45 minutes from 245 to 330. Here you can see the breakout. Here it gave a breakout like it does today also. Today in the late afternoon, what happened? This is shuttle from 109, it was 89 and from 89, it went to 170, the 3 p.m. move, which came here. That is also identifiable through this. And this is the shuttle OI chart. You can see it, it was continuously going down as the put sellers were trapped. And this is the put chart of 41,500 put. This is here, 123, 190, 240 and 242. The next one is the Fin Nifty expiry. It is a penultimate day of the expiry, means one day before the expiry. This 80,000 straddle gave a breakout at 136 and went on to make a high of 407 the same day. Which one? This one. This is I am marking. This is I am marking from my end. On a broker, I am marking. And this is the put chart, 18,000 put chart. This is the plain put chart along with the straddle chart. And this is the complete chart. See, now let us come back to today's expiry. See, today expiry, we all know it was a very volatile expiry. So what we can see that after uh, hitting an uh, initial high, the straddle started going down. So suppose if you have bought uh, in the morning, if you have bought put, you should have booked out. Because you can clearly so we can clearly see that what is happening here. The straddle sellers or the writers are taking control of the market. And hence, we should have booked out. And now they, here you can see there are small, small spurts, but these spurts were not getting supported by this OI of the 39700 call. This OI was not getting supported. This was going up and coming down, going up and coming down. But towards the latter half, the, when the 3 pair move came, then you can see that this, this was a steep fall in the OI at 3 p.m. Just before the move started, there was a steep fall in the OI. And this shadow chart also gave us a breakout. 
so this way we will be able to know which direction the market is going on the expiry day and we'll be able to trade it being a buyer we should always remember that uh, the chances of our, of our success is 33% because 67% of the time the option sellers will win the game and the less we are losing in the market the more money we will be able to take home so by doing all these things what we will do at least i will be able to be out of my wrong positions okay, okay if the market has made a momentum now the straddle is uh, sellers are again taking control of the market now i should get out of the my position so a big fast presentation i'm done with it <laughs>